Hey folks, it's Finn. In today's video, I wanted to talk about being an Open University Student Ambassador. Ooh! Those that follow my channel will know that I'm an Open University student. I've been studying with the OU since 2012. Originally, I was studying psychology, pure psychology. Now I'm doing an open degree so that I can add some creative writing modules into the mix. A lot of you have also noticed that I am on your TV, your internet, your study guides. I'm everywhere. So today I wanted to talk about what I've been doing with the Open University, why I've been doing it, how I've been doing it, and what it's all about. I only realised recently that I haven't actually spoke about it on here. Basically, the Open University contacted me about a year and a half ago and asked if I would like to be part of their campaign where they share true student experiences of studying with the Open Uni and these stories are shared online and on the TV and on radio and they asked me if I'd be willing to share my story and go public with who I am and what I do and what I'm about and what I think about the OU. I love the Open University, I really do, so it was an easy yes for me. The only difficult question for me was what do I share? Because my story of study is very, very much about my mental health and my gender transition. The Open University has been a godsend for me because it's given me the flexibility to work around my ongoing mental health challenges and alongside my gender transition because I've needed time off for surgery, for recovery time. And so in sharing my Open University story, really the only way to give a true picture of what it's been like for me was to share about me being transgender. And we all know what can happen when the media get hold of a trans story. Luckily for me, the Open University has been supportive from day one. Initially, they got me to write down everything that I wouldn't want to ever talk about, and I did that. And they've been really respectful all the way through, from the camera crews that came to, to do the Channel 4 advert, through to the radio interviews. Everything has been very sensitively done. And I'm so proud of the way that they've put the adverts together that talk about me being transgender without sensationalising it or making it the main focus. They've made the main focus exactly what I share on, life. That you can overcome anything and be anything you want to be, regardless of where you've come from. And that is a message that I always want to share on here or on anything I do. And I'm really, really pleased that that's what's happened and it hasn't become a huge transgender story. I'm getting a lot of messages at the moment because the most recent advert, the Channel 5 advert, which I will link below or link up here or both, has just been set live and it's just showing across channels at the moment. So I'm getting a lot, of, a lot of messages, a lot of questions that are common, not just of me, but of the other ambassadors, because it's not just me, there's lots of different students that are doing this. The most common questions we get are, was this scripted? Were we given what to say? And the answer to that is absolutely 100% no. And I've met the other ambassadors and I know that exactly what they say in the videos is exactly what they say in person. I think the lovely thing about being an open university student is we are so passionate about our university because of all the things that it stands for. It stands for giving people a chance that didn't have qualifications, that maybe had a very difficult upbringing or have got difficult circumstances and it gives those people the chance to study where more conventional universities might not. And so that comes across in whenever we talk about the Open Uni, you can just hear the passion come out. And that's very, very honest. And none of it has been scripted. Everything I said, everything anyone said, has just been clipped and edited and put together so that it flows. But all the words are completely our own. The other question I'm asked is, were you paid for these adverts? And again, no. Everyone that's done this has done this because of their passion and belief in the Open Uni. Yes, there's been loads of perks. It's been amazing perks. I've been and been in various studios. I've met Anna Richardson. I did some radio work with her, and that was amazing. And actually, next week, because Channel 5 are running the current Open Uni adverts, all of our ambassadors have been invited to Sky Studios, and we're having a, a studio tour of Sky Studios. So if I'm allowed to film any of that or take any pictures, I will, I'll, and I'll upload those. So 
that is really it about why and how I've been doing the ambassador work. It is just because I'm so proud to be an Open University student. And I did it because I'm somebody that, once upon a time, I never thought I'd amount to anything. I couldn't even imagine doing a degree. To be honest, I didn't even think I'd be alive at this age. I didn't think I'd still be here at 45. And I certainly didn't imagine that I'd be doing a degree, that I'd be able to be successful, to be starting my own business, and all of these things that at one point, I thought that's what happened to other people, not what happened to me. And so I do this sort of thing because I really want to pay this forward. I just want to share that, you know, I'm not special. Anybody, anywhere can change their lives and make a difference and do something that they've always wanted to do. We just don't believe in ourselves enough. And so to be able to remind you out there that you can is a gift to me. And it's just been a joy to work with the Open Uni because through them, they really do help people who, as I said before, are in situations where a brick uni would be out of their reach. There's no way on this earth I could have managed to attend a bricks and mortar uni through all that was going on. I tell you what, employers love Open University students because the discipline it takes to sit at home and do your degree, often in isolation, often without the input of any other students or tutors, all, the, all of that's just online. There is amazing support online, but still, it's so much harder than a regular uni for that. And so employers recognise that and they see that we've got all these additional transferable skills. Not only have we learnt our topic, our subject, we've also learnt how time management, self-discipline and all of these things. And they realise that a lot of Open University students do have these tough backgrounds. So you have the tough background and the discipline of study and these make, I think, us amazing people. So who wouldn't want to be an Open University student? That is why I'm an ambassador. As you can see, I love the OU. I got a bit overpassionate there, didn't I? So now you know. I should put a link below to all the different videos and places you can find me. And as I say, we're off to Sky Studios next week. Chris is coming with me, so he's really pleased about that. And if I'm allowed to do any filming, taking pictures, I will. And I'll share them with you next week. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you've not already, don't forget to subscribe so you can be kept up to date all of the regular Finstalments. See you soon, folks.